Do you think that Israel can come back after two losses in a row? Round number 10 of Chess Olympiad 2024. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg. I'm chess grandmaster from Israel and today we will watch together the match between Israel against Bangladesh in round number 10 of Chess Olympiad 2024. Let's see our first board. Grandmaster Maxim Rochten with white pieces against international master Muhammad Fahad Rahman. Let's see it together. So c4, knight of 6, knight c3, g6, and now e4, d6, d4, bishop g7, and bishop e2. This is the king's Indian defense by the black pieces. Castle, and now knight f3, e5, d5 was played. Knight a6, bishop g5, h6, bishop h4, g5, bishop g3, and now knight c5, attacking this e4 pawn. He's playing the move knight e2, of course, and after a5, a very important move in such positions. Maxim is playing the move f3 after 15 minutes of thought. Let's understand this move. So first of all, you're grabbing, you know, this uh, very important square on the king's Indian defense, the e4 pawn. Another idea is to bring the bishop to f2 because now on g3 is very bad piece, right? This e5 pawn is just uh, annoying this bishop and he really wants to bring him to a, a good diagonal. So knight h5, bishop f2 and now knight f4. And in, in this position, you really can do for you some very important exercise. You can stop the video now and think by yourself which move you prefer to play in this position with the white pieces because Max did it just amazing. I'm not sure that if I will was win white pieces here, I would play this one. Uh, but after after I understand it, it's it's really beautiful. So Bishop takes c5. This is a very interesting move. So first of all, we are giving up our bishop uh, for the knight on uh, c5. Don't forget that after knight f4, there is two threats, knight g2 and also knight cd3 or knight fd3. So bishop c5, d takes, and now g3. Just saying, you know, go away this knight, and after knight g6, for example, we have like two knights against a bishop and a knight, right? So we have this bishop against this bishop, and the position is closed. So two knights is better for uh, against this bishop, of course, on g7. And we have a lot of, um, you know, maneuvering of the of these knights. Let's see what Maxim is doing here. Bishop d3. I really like this move because Black wants to play maybe the move f5 with bishop takes. But after bishop d3, he played the move bishop d7. If he will play the move f5, I think just takes bishop takes, and now I don't know, just bishop takes, rook takes, and yeah, this position looks really really losing because this knight on e4 just unbelievable unstoppable knight and this knight is also covering it so i don't know queen d3 long castle this should be over because this bishop is very bad piece so he didn't do the f5 and of course bishop d3 was a very clever move he played the move bishop d7 just develop a bishop and now knight f1 as you can see maxim is starting uh, to do the maneuvering with his knight 97, 93, knight c8, also black uh, really want to bring this knight to d6. And now queen e2 was played, knight a6 and h4. And um, really looks nice. We always love to play the move h4. a4, a3, of course. You don't want to let a3, you know, and this knight will be, <coughs> sorry, will be a uh, weak afterwards. So a3, rook a6, and now long castle, rook b6, and bishop c2 was played. Also, maybe king b1 with king a2, just put this king on a2, and after he just trying to, to attack in h5, maybe. So let's see, bishop c2 was played, g takes h4, and a rook takes h4, queen g5, and king b1. This was a little bit mistake, um, because here there is some brilliant, brilliant moves uh, by black. And uh, the best here was just to play the move rook dh1, for example, or maybe rook e1. Because after queen g5, knight c4, this is the threat, right? After queen takes, queen takes c3. So this is the threat. And after rook dh1, knight c4 is not working, I think, because of f4, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and this knight will, will fall. So 
you think about it and he played the move king b1 because after knight c4 just knight xc4 yeah and we are winning a piece but in this position black has some unbelievable sacrifice rook takes b2 check king takes and now queen takes e3 it's really beautiful because after queen takes e3 knight takes c4 and i don't know this position may be better for black already because yeah it's it's exchange but also one pawn or how many pawns yeah two pawns for the exchange and also b5 b4 c4 i don't know rook a8 bishop f8 this pawn on a3 yeah looks very beautiful for black so um and for you, you know surprisingly for us uh, he didn't mention rook takes b2 and uh, it's it's good of course he played the move f5 and with this was a blunder it was a miss i think uh, knight takes f5 also e takes f5 should be should be stronger but maybe e4 yeah maybe this one yeah so knight takes f5 also strong knight takes uh, e takes and now e4 was played bishop takes e4 uh, here maybe just to go with the king right because you know after bishop takes e3 just b takes e3 and this looks uh, very good with rook g4 threats so yeah it's it's it looks really strong but bishop takes e4 also makes sense because after bishop takes c3 we have rook g4 queen ta rook takes b2 queen takes b2 uh, bishop takes b2 rook takes g5 h takes g5 king takes b2 bishop takes f5 yeah maybe this one is not so easy right maybe it's not so easy for white maybe rook e1 but uh, but there is a potential for white here maybe to push for a win but also of course not so easy so let's see after bishop takes e4 he played the move bishop f5 and this was a mistake just knight takes a4 we're attacking this very important pawn on a4 attacking this rook on b6 and also protecting the b2 pawn rook b3 rook f4 also king a2 was just uh, winning i think but also rook f4 bishop d7 takes uh, this was a mistake here was a very interesting move but also very uh, a difficult one d6 yeah after bishop takes a4 the point here that we are just taking after king takes just d takes c7 with promoting a queen with rook d8 so for example rook takes b2 queen takes b2 bishop takes and queen c8 check and you know this position should be over very soon no rook d8 immediately but somewhere with checks here yeah it should be should be winning uh, but after bishop d7 he took on f8 uh, king takes and now knight c5 rook takes b2 queen takes bishop takes knight e7 king e7 and this position is not so good for white maxim rochen is in trouble with two minutes on the clock against seven of the international master from bangladesh wow g4 king d6 king b3 queen e3 rook d3 queen b6 king c2 and something is not going well but maxim rochten is never give up you know he's such player that every single game is playing for a win and i really like how he's playing chess and now he's going black wants to win this game as you can see uh, muhammad is going for queen d1 rook c2 queen a1 king f4 is going for this h6 pawn ladies and gentlemen let's see king d6 king g3 slowly slowly improving a4 uh, if you are taking this one I don't know maybe c5 yeah c5 with some rook takes rook c6 rook e6 not so easy so we better move queen g1 rook g2 some checks here king g2 and a rook c2 everything is under control this bishop is just amazing amazing uh, piece of course c5 now takes takes queen takes and now rook takes e7 this pawn pawn is just uh, maybe will promote who knows queen a5 rook c2 is coming back you know solid solid position but hey black really doesn't want to do a draw he wants to win but against maxim rochten is not a good idea they are playing very fast and now after king g3 was played queen c3 was a blunder here you know it's not so easy already here to to think about some moves maybe king f6 i don't know maybe king f6 because this king is a little bit not safe after rook e6 rook g6 is checkmate ideas so after queen c3 just rook e6 a brilliant move that winning for maxim rochten rook g6 this is the threat with checkmate on the board and after queen takes c2 oh no f4 checkmate so maxim rochten is on fire ladies and gentlemen is just amazing i really hope for him to win also the last round of this tournament and just bringing absolutely brilliant performance in first board of our national team let's go for the second game of our match we have grandmaster idogorstein with the black pieces let's see how he's doing against the fiddle master rejan near 
Manun. Okay, so he's playing the Karo Khan variation, takes takes, bishop d6, bishop d3. I, I can tell you that Idog Orstein is very familiar with uh, this opening. He's playing it very strong and safe. Um, let's see, knight 7 bishop f4. Um, here, don't forget that after rook takes c2 is not so good because queen takes c2, uh, bishop takes f4, and now queen e4 with double threat here. And this is very, very bad for us. So is of course not failing about it. Knight f8 is playing. Bishop takes, queen takes, knight g3, g6. It looks like you know such positions. Ido Gorstein is doing just perfect. Um, he's going for this end game uh, very slowly. Of course, Ido is with the black pieces. He's trying uh, first of all to do uh, you know um, drawish position like equalizing, and he's doing it great. A5, a4, b5. It seems it, it seems good for for Ido. Uh, but it's not so easy yet. Yeah, G5 was a little bit mistake, probably. Here was an interesting move to play Queen E6. The point here that after Queen takes E6, F takes E6, H takes G6, we have F5 move. And the next move will be King G6. And I don't know, this A3 pawn maybe will have will will do some troubles for for White because yeah, it's not so easy to handle uh, this A. Three pawn, maybe this knight will jump somehow to to b4. I don't know how, but maybe in some ideas, knight 84, knight c3, um, yeah, interesting. But he played the move g5, now c5, knight e8, and now queen e3 was played, uh, of course, to uh, to defend this pawn on d4. Queen e3, king f8. Now some maneuvering here, as you can see, a little bit time travel here was. King g7 was played. This was a mistake. Uh, I'm not sure what about knight e5 because after bishop takes d5, queen takes d5, queen takes b4, four, qu queen e4 with some queen a2 check and attacking this pawn. So if you're taking this pawn, it will be check uh, rep repetition, right? So this is easy to understand here. Queen takes d4, this pawn, yeah, and this queen cannot come to help, right? So this should be a draw. Uh, but yeah, king g7 was a mistake. Just queen takes b4, knight e6, d5, c takes, and a queen takes a3. And this position also not so easy. Queen e7, very strong move. Also a pin this pawn and also queen e1 check. This is the threat, but queen a5, queen e4. Now knight c6 was very strong, but not so easy to play because, you know, uh, 39 move into the game uh, after queen c3 you're just pushing d4 you're attacking also this pawn on c5 and also queen e1 so not so easy to handle uh, these threats here uh, for white but he played a move queen e4 uh, with one minute on the clock now queen d2 and yeah that's it the, the pawn's just going up and yeah it's not so easy f4 b5 d4 queen e2 queen b1 king g2 d3 queen e5 bishop g4 this was a mistake d2 bishop b3 was a better one because you know you really want to 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 take this bishop with c7 c8 um but he played the move bishop g4 d2 and now queen d5 takes takes queen c2 and now knight c7 was a mistake yeah, of course this position is very you know very complicated uh, only computer can uh, can uh, judge here uh, i'm not of course, uh, can do it. King g7 was the best. I don't know. It's it's very complicated to understand such moves. But knight c7 was play queen d8 and now queen d4 uh, coming back and a4 just going for this uh, pawn structure. A brilliant one. Knight e6, queen d5, and yeah, this position should be lost. Um, and he's doing it and he's doing it very strongly. The king is coming uh, to take the deep two pawn and that's it. This game uh, is over by a loss for Ido Gorsten, unfortunately for us. Yeah, so 1-1 one, one in this match until now. Let's go for our third board in this match. Grandmaster Tamir Nabati and his opponent, Grandmaster An Anamul Hussein, didn't come uh, into the this game, uh, unfortunately. Um, what can I say? Thank you very much for this win. Thank you, uh, Tamir, for being uh, so uh, good at chess that you are playing without play any move in the game. So we are going for the fourth board. Grandmaster Evgeny Posny with the black pieces against Fidel Master um, Tashin Tajwar Zia. So he's playing the move. Uh, he's playing, of course, the semi, semi Slav. Slav maybe, Slav defense here, uh, d takes c4 was played, the modern one 
e4, b5. He's taking the pawn on c4, he's, and Evgeny is claiming, I'm taking the pawn, and you will need to explain to me why you're giving up uh, one pawn in the very beginning in the game. e4, b5, bishop e7, e2, e6, a5 was played, queen c2, bishop e7, rook b1. Uh, maybe a4 was a little bit better here because you really wants to to attack this b5 pawn and if you're he's playing move b4 for example you're playing i don't know for example knight b1 and you know trying to attack uh, this pawn on c4 and take it so makes sense uh, for me at least rook b1 maybe um, not so you know in such positions you need to play faster uh, bishop a6 Rook e1, h6 was played, bishop f4, castle, rook bd1, you, you understand rook b1 was just a waste of time. Rook e8, I think knight bd7, I'm not sure why not to play knight bd7, but okay. Rook e8, knight e5, and now bishop f8, bishop f3, and now it seems like very dangerous. d5 will come and I don't know, knight f d7. And now white was winning absolutely, and of course it's, it's really difficult to understand, and you know... Uh, what can I say? It's it's something very strange to see. Uh, white played the move d5, but knight takes f7 was a brilliant move. After king takes f7, white is playing the move e5 with with a lot of threats. Bishop h5, queen h7. So yeah, it's not so easy to understand what is going on here. But as you can see, the black pieces are not in the game, right? So here king g8 makes sense for me at least. But now queen g6 with bishop e4 and attack. Really attack, right? You know, it's it's very complicated, but should be winning for white. Um, yeah, d5 was a mistake, but of course it's not so easy to, to look for uh, this unbelievable tactic and sacrifice. And as you can see, the Freedom Master from Bangladesh has only 8 minutes on the clock in this uh, 15 move. d5 was played, queen f6, very strong, knight takes d7, knight takes d takes e6, and now knight c5 was played by, by Evgeny. I saw this position uh, online, but I thought knight e5 was much better because here you are attacking knight d3, this bishop on f3 and also queen takes f4, I don't know, knight e5 looking for me, um, unbelievable winning, b4, knight, b knight d3, bishop c5 looking just amazing, also the c6 pawn is under attack, rook a c8, I don't know, knight e5 looking just winning. Knight c5 was played, bishop c7, now e5 also very strong, he, he really wanted to bring this e5 because now queen c6 and also the bishop on f3 will be a big pawn. Knight d5 takes takes, bishop b7, b4 takes takes, and our rook takes a5. This position is totally uh, winning for black. Rook c4, bishop d4, uh, yeah, king h7, uh, slowly moved by Evgeny Posny as we know him. Bishop h5, and now rook a8 takes takes. Uh, here b takes c3, we're just, you know, promoting the queen, I think. Um, should be easy. Queen e7, I don't know, c3. I'm not sure that. White has something here, but of course I can understand because uh, Evgeny Posny didn't have so much time here, only one minute on the on his clock. But c3, queen takes f7, and I think just c2 with rook e1. Probably should be winning because you know pro pro promoting a queen and there is nothing here because this queen is doing a perfect job here. So yeah, rook a3 was played, rook c6, bishop takes, bishop f7, and now rook d3 was played. Yeah, it's not so easy here. Rook d2 takes, 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 takes. This position, knight e5, g5, h3, king g7, bishop e8, and now b4. The b2 is running, b pawn, of course, rook takes a 3 and this position, also the g pawn is running, rook f4. <laughs> what a, a brilliant, brilliant winning by Evgeny Posny. Rook h4, attacking this e4 pawn, and also, you know, like, to controlling this file. Um, and that's it, bishop c6, rook f4, and the next move will be g2, and that's it. After e5, just rook takes b2, fb4, and winning absolutely. So, ladies and gentlemen, Evgeny Posny brings a very important win, and we're winning. We win this match 3 against 1 against Bangladesh. I really hope for uh, Israel to play the last game very good with a win. Let's pray, let's hope to finish it as, as soon and as we can do the unbelievable uh, to finish this tournament as good as we can. So if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe my channel for more chess content and see you soon in the last round of this tournament. Bye bye.